In this video, we are going to make butter by BTS on the J6 and the T8 Aero Compact instruments. Okay, first step on the J6 is we're gonna change the tempo to 110. Next step, clear all. Shift, clear, enter. You can see that the sequencer is now ready to be filled. Then we'll go to sound and check that we're on 3-4. You just move the tempo value wheel so that you're on 3.4. Filter is on about 80, envelope on about 65. Delay off, reverb off. Make sure your style and variation is off and chord is off. Make sure your volume is at around three quarters. Next step, shift and octave minus to go down to minus two octaves. Let's hear what it sounds like. We're gonna play these two notes as I just demonstrated, G sharp and D sharp. And at the same time, time to sequence. First step is we're gonna go shift last and change it from eight to 32. Exit. Next, go shift menu and go to beat, enter, change it from eight to one quarter. That means that every step in the sequence is going to get one semiquaver or 16th note. Exit. Exit again. Okay, time to allocate some chords to the sequencer. Start at step one. We're going to press the G sharp and the D sharp together, and that has now allocated it to step one. Next, step five. Same thing, G sharp and D sharp. Exit. Let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, let's go to the next page. Shift, and now you can see the four pages of the 32 steps that we allocated earlier by going shift last and changing it to 32. So let's go to page two. Step one, G sharp and D sharp again. Step eight, G sharp and D sharp again. Let's go to page three, shift and three. Next, step three, G sharp and D sharp. And step seven, G sharp and D sharp. Finally, page four. Step one, or as it says here, we're now up to step 25, but step one of this page of the sequencer, and we're gonna put G sharp and D sharp again. Exit, press play, and we'll hear the whole sequence. Now you can play with the filter and envelope to get the sound exactly how you want it. I'll demonstrate. Now on to making the drum track using the T8. First step, we're gonna clear everything. Shift, pattern clear all. Start off with bass drum. We're gonna put in one and nine or G sharp. Let's see what that sounds like. With the bass drum, we're gonna make sure the level is at about three quarters. So it's a nice punchy bass and the tune is on about a quarter. Next, snare drum, five, and 13, 16, 15, 14, 13. It's a way I like to do it. Let's listen to that. With the snare, we're gonna make sure the tune is zero. So turn that all the way to the left and then decay on about two thirds or about 75, 70%, somewhere around there. You can play with that and hear what it sounds like. Decay gives us that nice extended tail to the snare drum. We're gonna add another element to the snare drum, which is the snappy option. And to do that, we're gonna go shift menu and find snappy. There it is, S-N-P-Y. We go in and we're gonna turn up snappy so that the number at the top is the highest number possible, which is 255. This is gonna make the snare drum snappy, really punchy, which is a trademark of that BTS drum sound. Here it is. Spend some time comparing the snappiness of your snare drum by turning down snappy and turning it back up and listen really carefully. Once you're happy, press exit, press exit again. Of course, we can just change the tempo here to 110 and we'll hear what we get. Let's listen to them together. 
For this example, I'm just going to use a mix cable. The tempo is the same on each instrument, but I can also take a sync out to sync in using a mono TS cable. But for this example, I'm just gonna use the mix cable and press play at the same time. And let's hear what we have. Have a listen and see if you can hear this section of the piece. It's the very beginning and try and shape the sound of the J6 to sound as close as it can to the bass sound that BTS use in the track. Good luck. <laughs> 